Welcome back everyone. Today I have another video. Uh, we, today we're doing red, green, Luffy. Uh, my camera still doesn't work, so um, I mean I'm trying to get that fixed as soon as possible. Uh, but in the meantime, I do want to keep uh, doing videos. So we have Luffy today. Uh, for those who doesn't know, because <laughs> uh, this this leader hasn't seen too much play, uh, you pay four down to untap one of your characters uh, that is a straw hat or supernova. Uh, that is five or less, and then it gets plus one K. So basically, you get dual attack on one on one car. You get, are able to attack twice with one car. Uh, your whole deck is supernovas or um, straw hut, so it pretty much should be able to always hit. And we did get one card that I want to talk about, but let's go over the deck and the the combos that that the deck mainly has. Uh, I'm playing both Namis because, well, of of course she, she's a searcher. And this one, it just allows you to have a, a more seamless le uh, turn going first. Like if you have this turn one and then Zoro, uh, then you're able to just keep applying pressure without having... Like you can play on curve and apply pressure, which is very good. Uh, Makino is just so you can pump the Namis and then use the litter ability. So Namis are actually like a way to win the game. If you have Makino and you have no other car, you go Makino, Makino, attack with Nami for like 10 Restand her again, attack for 11. So she's like a win condition also, which is really nice. Uh, we have Sanji. Sanji is just for the matchups where they don't want to attack you, but pretty much everything wants to attack you. But if, if there is a matchup that doesn't want to attack you, this guy is, is your guy. Uh, we have Bunny. Uh, it works really well because it searches a lot of uh, supernovas. And we do have like all the, the Zoros, all the Luffy's, and the Laws are supernovas. So it searches uh, a lot of our aggression. And you're able, the best play, one of the best plays in the deck is Bonnie Law into one of the two Soros. So being able to do that consistently uh, is very nice. It's very good. And it, it, it deploys two cards that you can use the leader with and it develops a blocker, develops a, a threat. That is very good. That's just one of the best plays on the deck, of course. We have the 2K Connor Luffy because, I mean, it's a 2K Connor that is searchable with Nami and Bonnie. So, and also it's really good with the leader. Because for the two down, you get to restart him. It becomes a, a seven eight, so it's another win condition. If you, uh, it, it's good with the leader. Uh, we have both Zoros, and I have it at four both because early I want to go first and I want to play a Zoro on three. It doesn't matter which one it is, and then I want to bring out the other ones for free with either Luffy um, seven drop or 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 La. So that's why I want both Zoros. I think it works very well, and you're gonna see how it, it is really nice to be able to. I uh, just play them for free. It just it makes it worth it. Even though they, they die fairly easy to a lot of removal, uh, if you play it for free out of a, a La or of a Luffy, it feels still pretty good. So it's pretty nice on that end. Uh, I'm playing Luffy because you can play it out of the uh, seven drop Luffy, but also going second it, it helps like smooth out that curve going second and you have a better play. Uh, I play La, of course. I already explained why. I also want to play Chaka. Because Chaka kind of works out with like everything if you want to give it done. And if you have, for example, Chaka on board and you have Zoro and you can use the leader ability and attack for like huge numbers too. So I wanted to try Chaka and see how, how good it is in this deck. And it didn't disappoint. I think it's very decent. So um, I don't know if you keep it. I don't know if it's better than, than this Nami. Uh, but this Nami also has a lot of removal uh, that can affect her. So, I mean, it's still the, the case. Radical being a four because this leader... A, the defense is not it's not as amazing yeah you have blockers you have things but sometimes they can uh, pressure you very hard early and then you you need the radical being active as soon as possible uh the luffy i already explained why this one is good so yeah i love the deck i think it was actually pretty uh good i have some really good games today to show so um so yeah i mean i think it's gonna have a bad matchup versus sakatsuki i, I don't think we ever win that one uh, at least not easily. Like the best thing that we can do is like, like rely on, on Rush Zoro, or maybe be able to play like Bonnie double creature every turn, and then maybe they're not they don't have enough removal for all of it. But it is asking for a lot. Like that deck is gonna be a bad matchup. Uh, but besides Sakatsuki, I think you can have a decent matchup into everything else. I mean, I think he's not the worst deck into everything. So uh, I can see uh, this deck doing some uh, some. I mean, uh, at least at a local level, I think it's pretty fun to play. Uh, but yeah, let's go see. Looking for a One Piece holiday gift? Our friends at One Piece fans have you covered. From calendars to all types of merch in their website, you can indulge in all your One Piece needs. 
Use promo code LOS at checkout for a 10% discount. All right, so we're going to play against Zoro and we're going to go second. Ah, this hand is not bad, though. I'm going to keep it. Oh, that's one drop CDM. And we don't have anything to play in turn one, which is really bad. Okay. Ah, this is not as bad, to be honest. Because then I can attack the, the Sanji. Let's take that one. Ooh! That's actually very good. And we have an... Ooh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get Radical Beams. That's the card that they cannot beat. Okay. Just come out of that one. That's fine. Take that one. Ooh, hold on. Nami is annoying, but it's fine. We attack here. We attack at the leader, right? But I think I should attack with... No, let's keep the rat beam. Attack for five. Then let's play this guy, use action. Get back the Zoro, play a Zoro, and play a Nami. Actually, kind of good. Here. And if he attacks with everything, we just get to outcome out of all of this. Sounds good. Then we're going to play a Luffy. Or actually might even let this Zoro die if he attacks it. Because then we're going to play a Luffy. Play a second Luffy. And then we'll go from there. These blockers are going to be amazing. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter here. Well. Yeah, I'm going to combo one. Annoying, but it's fine. He has to attack it again, so that's okay. I want him to attack it anyway, so we can attack this, his cars back. Then we go. Ooh, that's a great one, actually. We go five. Oh, if he please combo to that one. That's what I thought. Play Zoro. Attack with five. And then attack for five. And then let him go. We're still ahead on this board, I think. He has to attack for like a big number here. Uh, I'll block. That's good for me. Free block. I'll take it. Oh, we're going for game next turn. Maybe. Depending. On how low he puts me this turn. I mean, being at one is fine with, for, with me. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I combo two cards here. So if he wants to attack with Nami. Oh, no, he attacks with that guy. Oh, uh, just combo a radical beam here. Ooh. Okay. Hold on. That's actually kind of really good. Um... If they attack with the Nami here. Then attack for seven here. Then attack for five. And then play the law. Use action. Get the Nami. Play the Nami. Get more 2k counters. No. Oh, he cannot get that one. I guess I get the Rush Zoro. Let him go. But we have two blockers, so I don't think he can go for game. And we have a Radical Beam. So that should be enough to win. 
is finally low on cars in hand. That is okay. That's that's not a problem. Unless he can kill or cars on board. I don't even mind. He's a two live. Best that he can get is a rat bean. And he has to keep it up. Diablo Jumble. I mean, scary. Okay. So he's, ju he's just going for game this turn. But how do you go for game? It's kind of really impossible. I have a Luffy and I have a Rat Beam. When we know he has a Death Car in hand. Oh, this is perfect. I just blocked this. Because there is no way. This, this last car cannot beat me. Even if it's a Machina or something like that. I'll just take that damage and I'll combo the leader. Yeah, that Brook doesn't beat me. Okay. Uh, go Rat Beam. And we're going in. Alright, so he has a Diablo Jumble, so we know this will connect. But before I do that, I should do this. And then we'll go 7. And then restand the loot, the Zoro. Attack for nine for ten, and that should be enough. We got it. Alright, and we're gonna go against uh Enel. We're going second, which is not great. Uh but I think it's still doable. We can go Zoro then into Zoro Rush. And then we'll see from there. Or we can go Shaka and then play the Zoro Rush out of the Luffy. Can also work maybe. I'm gonna take it regardless because I have double blocker, which is gonna be really good. And here I'll just attack with Luffy. See if he takes it. I mean, no reason not to. Really. Interesting. I mean, okay. I mean, I don't mind, I guess. Uh, five? Do I want to take a five? Maybe not. I'll. Maybe I don't want to take a five. Oh, damn, he should have... What? <laughs> he should have played that before the... The Zoro. I mean, I guess. But now we can do this. Uh, wait. That was risky, because if I did take the damage, then... I mean, he may probably made a different play. If I do take the damage, maybe. Is that what it is? But if I take the damage, he cannot play Degadatsu. So, bold choice, but I guess he paid off. And then let him go. <clears throat> now, the next car is either Enel or Big Mom. Both are kind of bad for me right now, but I think it shall be fine. Again, I just don't want to take another hit, I think. I, mean, I want to take only one hit, not multiple here. Nice thing is if he doesn't deal with the Chaka, it's going to be a lot of... Okay. Enel is annoying, but I'll take this one, I guess. I didn't want to take two damage. But, I mean, it'd be what it be. And then we go here. Then we'll attack this guy. And I, I guess we have to uh, control his board a little bit here. And he just want to be aggressive against me. I can understand. Since we took the damage there, I guess we are forced... He's kind of... Uh, we're forcing his hand a little bit here. I don't even know if he can outgrind us at this point. But he can definitely do some decent stuff here. Uh, also, he wants to do that, I guess. We do get to block at least one. Oh, he didn't attack with anything. We're definitely going to attack. It's just a matter of how much. Uh, we'll do Zoro. Let's get this going here. Um, I guess attack with Zoro for one here. Let's not get too greedy here. I should have used the ability just in case of the um, 
Wait. I guess we'll attack with this one, right? And then we don't have to attack with the with the Chaka. We could risk it and attack with the Chaka. Oh, well, there's a trigger though. Okay, so he's going for game next turn, so I just need to defend this turn. That Radical Beam is gold right now. And may allow me to survive one turn. I just need to kill him next turn. That's fine. It's, it's doable. Maybe he plays another Yamato. But... I mean... Sure, that kills a Nami. I just have to defend the Zoro then. And if I'm able to defend the Zoro, I should be able to go for game. Although he has an Eltor, it would seem like. He also has a, has a blocker. Uh... This attacks for seven. I mean, I just combo the 2k here, right? See how far he's willing to go here. Uh, seven. If I combo two, I combo two. Then he has to attack with the blocker. And then at that point, I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah. No blockers. Combo two. Combo one. Lock combo. And then uh, show me what you can do. If you're going to attack with the blocker, then that's mission accomplished, to be honest. Okay. Then he doesn't have the defense here, too. Ooh, and we drew the Zoro. That's so good. I was expecting maybe something like that. Uh, but now you get super punished by this play. Attack for seven. Restand it. Um, let's restand it just in case he gets hit. Attack for eight. Attack for seven. I mean, seven, seven, seven has to be enough. Uh, three life. Well, I just attack for eight here, right? Yeah. And then eight, eight. Do you get another trigger out of life? No. Okay, we win. 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, that Zoro was so good <laughs> out of the top of the deck. <laughs> oh, against Sakatsuki. I, this is the matchup that I feared. He's going second, but this hand is not as good. Okay, this is better. I think. You know what? We're going to do Bonnie. We're going to do Bonnie ability attack for 7. He has to have brand new here, which he does. Annoying. I guess Zoro is the best that I can get here, yeah? I mean, the only card that I can get, honestly. But we're going to try to just attack for big numbers every turn. That's the best thing that we can do here. Not letting combo early, just force a lot of damage and and we'll go from there. Now maybe I should combo early. No, 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 it's hardly true. Well, we don't get Rob Lucia at least this turn. Rebecca. Okay. I was not expecting Rebecca, to be honest. Makes sense. Uh, so now I have to uh, attack the Rebecca, because. I mean, the uh, Tashigi. And then we have the Zoro and attack with Zoro. And six. Let him go. 
You can remove this one easily with the um, with what you call it the uh, the two costs. Yeah, I don't think he he he, he can play that one. All right, uh, I guess we have to combo out of this one. Because there's no way he doesn't do um, Hound Blades and attack for a bunch. Has a five. Okay, well, take that one. That bunny could actually be really good because he can probably get us a law. And then there's going to be a turn where that's going to be really good. Oh, sure. Hina is fine. Oh, that is very annoying, actually. Hmm. You know what? Let's try to get a law. We do not. But we get a Raj Zoro. I mean... I think it's fine to attack for... 6-6. Six, six. I mean, we, we're gonna play hard into a Sakatsuki, but, I mean, it's fine. No, into a Sakatsuki, into a, um... Forgot his name. Let him go. He's gonna get a 2k Connor with this one. This is gonna be an issue. I wish I had something that can kill the Man Cherry, but it's gonna be a blocker. Which sucks. You know what? I'll take it. Honestly. I need some cards better than 2k Connors. I'm just... Whoa. Huh. Huh. Why? Hmm. I mean, defending that one would be really bad, honestly. <laughs> uh, definitely just blocking that one. And I guess I have to block this one. You place a blocker here. But the nice thing is that I have multiple attacks with the with the Zoro. Okay, so how do we do this? We attack for six though. Sure. Attack for five here. Then use the, the ability to untap and attack for seven, for six, I guess. Let him go. This Rebecca is a problem, though. Still is kind of a problem. I think the best. Mm. Oh, these stars are so easy to remove. It's crazy. Oh boy! Now my hand didn't allow me to to win this game. I mean, the Zoro is fine, but I need like better cards. It's just only two K Connors is just not gonna cut it. I need like to be able to play Law, swap into something else. Um, I mean, I'm gonna save it because this is my. Mm. Still not gonna win though, by the way, but but it's my best option to be honest. He could attack with <laughs> Rebecca, honestly, and I would. There's no way that I just combo out Rat Beam on this guy and. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got it. Let's get Zoro. Let's play this guy. Let's get this guy. 
Uh, let's attack Rebecca. And then let's attack this guy. Let him go. I guess these cards were really useful against us. Um, I should have maybe gone for them, but feels really bad. He will have a, a bunch of cards in hand if I go for those cards. Mm, yeah, that's a, that's a let it go, I think. I uh, yikes. Oh, do we have a rush? Can that rush even help us here? Maybe. If we get a rush Zoro or the last one. No, we didn't get it. Yeah, rush Zoro would have been maybe a way to answer that, that game. Uh, attack for three, restand it, mean seven, 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 maybe. Uh, seven, three, and four. It's, it'll be like six, seven, seven. Uh, and hopefully he didn't have enough for that one, but yeah, that's game. Yeah, he actually didn't have enough. That would have been that would have been enough to win if I got a rush Zoro. All right, my opponent chose to go second. Kind of want a mulligan for a three drop. So we're going to do that. Uh, we find everything that we need. So this is good. Now, we need an in-between play. No, we have an in-between play as what I meant. Now, the question is, do we attack? That's the, uh, the bigger question here. I think we can start attacking once we have the Luffy out. Oh. Interesting card to play. I guess you get to play something in turn two. Uh, I'm scared to attack here. But let's give it a let's give it a whirl. Let's see if he he's, I mean, he probably has a billion of triggers if he's playing this one. But he's playing like a Prospero engine. Interesting. You know what? It's fine. Uh, we do combo out of this one. And then we play the Luffy and we don't attack anymore because hitting more triggers out of life would be too bad for me. We're going to play the uh, Luffy and then we'll try to maybe deal some damage here. We don't have too many cards in hand as the issue, but... Okay, we have to take this one. We do get to play Anami and search it, so... You know what? That's not terrible. But we do have to be careful. Ooh. Well, definitely gonna play this, and then we'll see next turn. If he goes in this turn, then it's fine. If not, we're gonna just block the leader. And then we'll attack with everything, then we should be fine. We're gonna attempt to go for game, honestly, <laughs> next turn. They don't have a trigger that can stop us, per se. Maybe they have a beige. But next turn, we're gonna try to deal a lot of damage. And we have, like, dual attackers and stuff. He is going to go in right now this turn, however. I would assume he's going to go in. Yeah, he's going to go in. It is okay because I have a Nami. I mean, not a Nami, but... Uh, no blockers, but I do combo the 2k here. Because I'm going to have to take some damage here. Oh, uh, you know what? I'll block that one. If he wants to attack my Luffy, I'll take the the neck there. Yeah, he's gonna put me to one, and then we have to survive this turn and then attempt to go for game. He probably has a, a bunch of blockers. I mean, ooh, wait a second. Does he have the rusher? 
Oh, he has. I know what he has. Okay, that was a good draw, though. He has the, the 3k Connor. We're well, gonna let him do it. Well, he's not gonna do it on this one, of course. We're gonna do Law. Attack with Nami here. Probably just switch the Luffy to Orhan and play uh, another Nami just to get more Connor. Okay, so he does that one. We get to attack here. And we get to attack... One, two, three, four, five. And if we find a Radical Beam, I kind of want to have that one. I assume he's not going to get too many tr uh, cards out of that one. Use action. Let's get back to Luffy. Get Nami and see if we can get some Connor. Okay, that's good. And then we have two blockers and we should be able to survive this turn, I think. And if he wants to go after a board, great. Uh, if he wants to go after the leader, we have some cards we're not going to lose this turn, I don't think. Not with two blockers. It seems really... Um, Unlikely. But he might deal damage. Or, I mean, just block it. it. Can also be an option. Let's see what he does, however. But well, he needs to attack with the Kazaro first. So it is harder for me to defend. Uh... I mean, he attacked for 9, so I have to take this one. It's fine. We'll, we'll probably block with Law or something like that. And... Hmm. I'm thinking what I need to do here. I'm going to block with Law. I think that's fine. As long as I'm one life and maybe I have enough for... Okay, perfect. No blocker, wrap beam, and a 1k. And then we can defend the uh, this, this Bello Betty. And then she... Uh, yeah, block and a 2k. We can just go for game, honestly. He does play even that one, so we're going for game. Uh, attack for leader. And we have Nami can attack too, which is good. Um, attack with, like, Zoro. Attack with Zoro. On seven. Then use the ability on leader. And attack with Zoro for more. Yeah, we just needed to play defense for one turn. That was good. We want to go first, but this hand is actually kind of bad. So we're going to keep Mulligan. Uh, this is not terrible. So we're going to end. We could attack with Zoro, but I think... Oh, you know what would have been good? I'm gonna do Bonnie here, get the law. Actually, very good. Uh, attack for five, I think would be fine. And then play another Bonnie. Although, uh, I mean. Oh, the Rob Lush is great here. God damn. <laughs> I did. I was not expecting that one, eh? I mean, I should have looked at it. Yeah. That, that was on me. That was on me. I did get got by that by that one for no reason he did combo out of that one so I mean the problem is gonna be Rob Lucy here right 
Uh, he's gonna put me low and then attack with a, a bunch of damage here. Ah, that Rob Lucci was really good because he didn't have to attack my uh, my bunny, and that really put me really behind. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. We go bunny. Play law, use action, get this guy, get this guy here, attack at the uh, this guy for six. He has to combo at 2k and then attack it again for a seven. I think it's the best that I can do. Oh, that was great. It actually died. I thought it was not gonna. Okay, okay. That's not terrible. I'm not gonna attack with this because of course it's just gonna get blocked by Borsellino. But um But if we're in a better spot than I thought we were gonna be. Uh just combo at 2k of course. Oh, he's gonna play the block. Okay, okay, okay. That's not bad. Let's see if we hit another law. And we do. Okay, that's really good too. <laughs> Alright, we're we're getting out of this uh difficult spot that we were on. Uh we're just gonna attack for we're gonna attack for fives first. Oh. Let's grant two to this law. He's gonna block with this one. Get another dude. Doesn't do anything because he only kills two or less. Uh, attack the blocker, of course. And then... What do we do? Do we keep pressuring his Borsalinos? No, let's just attack life. Just keep up the radical beam, I think is fine. Oh, he's gonna try to pressure us here. Okay. You know what? I'm I'm okay with this. Oh, ten drop Kusan, I see. Um Oh, we combo the Luffy here. And then we combo the Makino. And when he attacks with this, we combo with whatever else. Let's play the Nami. It's not bad. We'll get a Zoro, I think is very good here. And we're going to just go put him to zero. Hmm. I see. Okay. Okay. So we get to do something that with the leader that we haven't done before. Which is attack for seven here. At the leader. You get to... Restand that guy. Then now you attack for seven on this one. Then you attack for seven. Then you use the ability to give this guy a seven. Then you attack for seven on this one. Put him to zero. And then he, I just have to survive one turn. And uh, we'll see if we can do that. Now, it is easier said than done. But maybe two attacks is, is easy to... Eh. He needs to attack for like exactly 11-11. And then hope that I don't have any corners here on, to on the top of my two decks. My two cars on deck. Yeah, no, I think I think I, I I am in a good spot at the moment. And um, that Kusan took me for surprise, though. I was not expecting the Kusan, but it's good here. He he gets to KO one, well, like two of my guys. Maybe give dual attack to the Lushi. Hmm. 
Does this mean he cannot kill me anymore? Yeah, this would mean that he will not, will not be able to go for a game. Because he doesn't have a rusher. So the best that he can do is take two cards with him. With the leader ability. And maybe kill with the, like a Rob Lucy. Oh, he's just going to go to zero. Okay. I understand. But I have a, a Zoro, so we can do dual attack on the Zoro. And be okay. That was a good idea, though. He can clear my whole board. Don't dislike it. Uh, but I think I can do... S Hold on. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. So he has to have... 6k to a 2k in hand is that what it is one two three attack for seven no no it doesn't need to have it doesn't matter i'm sorry what am i talking about i have three attacks <laughs> i don't even know what i'm doing math here i just have two attack for one two three gg I don't know why I was doing math there. <laughs> All right. And for the final rating on this deck, uh, I'm going to give it a... Actually, I did like the deck a lot. But I'm going to give it a, a 3.5 to 4. 3.5. Let's leave it at 3.5. Because it's not well represented. But I, I, I liked the, everything that it was doing. I mean, playing cards for free with Law and Luffy kind of felt really good. Um... It's not something that we, that like, maybe it's just an, another way to explore the deck. Maybe this is the way they should have always been playing it. But I, it feels really strong. Like, now that the deck, like, there's a um, a need for aggressive decks. So you can combat, like, this all these control decks. Like, this Luffy fits very well if you're trying to do all of this. It's just a lot of aggression out of nowhere. And, um, and for that reason, I kind of want to give it a 4. But I'm going to keep it as a 3.5. But with that being said... That's all I have for today. Thank you all for watching and have a good day.